Storm Track 5 weather team, alerting you to severe weather danger. Starting off with cloudy skies across the area this morning as we look from our Tri Summit Bank camera in downtown Bristol. Cloudy skies around across the entire region. We've got a little bit of sun mixed in in spots, but majority of the skies are mostly cloudy. A little bit of light rainfall as well in portions of our area, like Wise, also seeing some light rain showers across portions of northeast Tennessee. Let's check out Max Alert Radar, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. We've got a little bit of light rainfall across portions of Greene County, also moving into the Johnson City area between Limestone and Jonesboro, some downpours there. Also a little bit of some rainfall heading towards the Bailenton area and some light rainfall near Fall Branch as you head up I-81 this morning. You may encounter a little bit of rainfall in that region. Also across southwest Virginia, southeast Kentucky, more rainfall scattered about there. Some downpours in Leslie County, south of Hyden. Also some showers pushing through Cumberland, heading towards Wise and portions of Lee County. Scott County, you'll be seeing a little bit of rainfall over the next 45 minutes or so. And our folks in Wise have been seeing rainfall on and off this morning. More rainfall now heading towards your region. Now as we go through the afternoon, I expect scattered showers and storms across the entire region. Now nothing too widespread where it rains all day long, but we will see the potential as we go throughout the day for some scattered showers and storms, especially during the late evening and early overnight hours. A few of those storms could have a little bit of gusty winds, maybe even a little bit of some small hail with them, but the majority of the heaviest rain should stay to the north. That's where a flood watch is in effect. As the warm front lifts north, an area of low pressure is going to track through areas of Kentucky and Ohio, so the heaviest rain likely towards our areas of southeast Kentucky across the majority of Kentucky and Ohio. That's why flash flood watches and flood watches in effect for that area. Not in effect for our area at this time, but our friends in Leslie, Harlan, and Letcher counties, you are under a flash flood watch until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now our entire region, under that general to slight marginal risk for severe weather, the orange area here is what we call the slight risk. The yellow area is the marginal risk. The only real difference between the two is the number of storms expected in that area could be strong to severe. And we're expecting the potential for some of those storms to produce some dangerous lightning, a little bit of gusty winds, and maybe even an isolated tornado. Can't rule it out. The risk is not very high, but it's not zero either. We'll keep an eye on it as we go into the afternoon. Otherwise, though, check out the temperatures this afternoon. We're heating on up this afternoon as temperatures warm up to the upper 80s to lower 90s across the region. For most of the valleys, upper 80s, lower 90s, 81 for Boone, 83 in Mountain City, the same in Marion, and 90 degrees for Elizabethton. How about 82 in Norton, 86 in Clintwood, 87 in Grundy, and 88 in Jonesville for the 4th of July. Temperatures tonight dropping down to near 68, 70 degrees. We'll go upper 60s, lower 70s across the region. Partly cloudy skies, some scattered showers and storms as we go through the overnight hours. Your seven day forecast, rainfall likely once again on Tuesday, then a little bit drier as you go into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with temperatures warming back up into the upper 80s as we go into the day on Wednesday. Looking like 92 on Friday right now with about 30 to 40% shot for some scattered showers and storms. A real summer-like pattern to the air and the weather over the next several days, even into next weekend as well. So, Ricky, what would my chances be on the lake today? Well, the chances of ra you getting rained on the lake or the chances of you going to the lake? Chances of you going to the lake, 100%. <laughs> chances of being rained on, about 50 to 60. Okay, well, that's okay. So, if you are going to those parades or cookouts or things, just carry an umbrella just in case. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Great. Well, thanks, Ricky. Nope.